Hi, I'm Christina Sousa Ma of YogaHub.TV here at the Natural Products Expo West for another year and I am surprised at every corner. Know this label? Spry Gum? Mm -hmm. It's been around for a little while and those of you who are on the natural side and don't want sugar for your kids, etc., this has been a gum that we've been using. But uh, lo and behold, I was surprised when I came here today. And this is Brian, whom I've met, and is going to give us a little rundown on a product that sneaked in my view, yeah. which is sinus care. That's right. It's the clear sinus care for kids. But all of our products in our whole line are based on xylitol, which is a natural sweetener. That's why the Spry Gum is so effective. Keeps that bacteria from sticking in the mouth, creating the acids that cause tooth decay or the plaque. But more importantly, xylitol will also stop the bacteria from sticking in the nasal passageway. And our company actually started with this product. It was a family doctor who was looking for an alternative to antibiotics for children with recurrent ear infections. And he came across some studies in Finland that were actually on chewing gums. They were testing the chewing gums in daycare centers and so they were comparing it with regular sugar-free gum, which is sweetened with sorbitol. Yes. And they noticed a big difference. The children chewing the xylitol chewing gum had much better dental health, but more importantly, 42% fewer ear infections just by chewing gum and eating candies made with xylitol. Yes. So this doctor thought, well, wouldn't it be better if we actually put the xylitol in the nose where most of the harmful bacteria enter the body anyway? Yes. And that would prevent them from being able to stick and create the infections, sinusitis in adults or ear infections in children. And sure enough, very successful, very, very good program without medicating. And that's the great thing yes. Yes. is that you're able to avoid that whole problem. More and more ENTs are telling people avoid the antihistamines, avoid the decongestants, especially with children or women during pregnancy because of the effect it can have on the child. And here's an option that's not medicating, that works naturally with the body's systems, but still has very great efficacy. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. So xylitol has been around for a while. Xylitol actually was first discovered in the 1890s, and it started to become popular during World War II in Scandinavia when they couldn't get regular supplies of sugar in. So xylitol actually is a natural sweetener. It comes from the fibrous parts of plants, and they discovered they could extract it from birch trees. And so that's where the whole thing started. Wow, that's so amazing, Brian. I mean, I, I was so excited because, you know, the, our audience really knows that I'm so much about, you know, whole holistic health, yeah. holistic health. And, of course, science is wonderful. It has its place. The medications, they have their place. Right. But especially with children... Less is more. That's and this right. is like some of the old-fashioned ways of we're into the neti pot, we're into the saline nasal cleansing, but it's difficult to get little children to do that. It is. And one of the things, we did a focus group study with a lot of mothers, yes. and they said that specifically. They said, you know, I'm willing to take a product myself that may be a little chemical, but when it comes to my child, yes. I want it free of any issues. My own daughter is a pediatrician, and with her two children... She started using this right from birth. She'd put a drop in each nostril at each diaper change. And even though she had those children who was raising them in Omaha, Nebraska, with really rigorous winters, yes. no ear infections wow. at all. Excellent. And the kids were in daycare, so they were exposed to a lot of other children with problems. But still, this is the thing that really helped them. Oh, this is very exciting. Brian, this is one of your products. Can right. you show us a couple of your other products that you have here? Well, the line is quite extensive. Anything with the clear name actually is for sinus health and all upper respiratory. Anything with the spry name is for dental health and building that dental health situation. And then finally, the pure xylitol as a sugar replacement. Tastes just like sugar, very low glycemic index and great for diabetics. The only place that this can't be used is in yeast doughs because yeast can't metabolize like a lot of microbes. Yes. But otherwise, for making cookies, for making a lot of other things, works very effectively. And one of the great things is, again, for children, if you're making the sweets with a xylitol, 
you're not getting that sugar high and low and all the other problems that the children are exposed to. But for them, it tastes just like sugar. Yes. You know, I don't know if it's so much for them, Brian, as the adult who's that's been true. raised on the actual white sugar, the refined sugars. So I think that's brilliant because even psychologically, it really does look like sugar. For the first time, I've tasted it for myself because of Brian. And it looks like sugar. It has no aftertaste like other sweeteners have. So this is brilliant what you have on the market. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. I'm Christina Suzuma of yogahub.tv at the Natural Products Expo West and keep on coming because we've got a lot more to cover. This live event coverage is brought to you by yogahub.com. Make Yoga Hub your new media channel for health and wellness with original programming and shows ranging from yoga and meditation to parenting and nutrition. We have hundreds of videos with experts, authors, and medical professionals. Visit us online at yogahub.com or search for YHTV on iTunes and subscribe today.